Silverstone and the second half of the Euro Formula Open season. Harrison Scott dominated the first half of the campaign, winning six of the first eight races. But will that fall continue? Or will Emir Weidenaithen on the key to Troitsky take the fight to him? Let's have a look at the very best of the action. Harrison Scott made a superb getaway at the start of the ninth race, the Euro Formula Open season, jumping teammate Alex Carcosi because they raced towards Cops for the first time, with Devlin De Francesco getting away well from fourth to ease up into third. Meanwhile, on the first lap, similar accident, an early casualty after contact with Taru Reddy. Pushing hard early on was Petro Threscu, but at that moment, fortunately forcing the Romanian into eventual retirement. Meanwhile, there was some great dicing through the field, not least between Ben Hingley and the Mayor Videnithen. Fighting over fourth and fifth position. Videnithen trying every trick in the book to find a way past Hingley. Meanwhile, Christian Hahn was just a little bit too optimistic, attempting to move the Guillermo Samaya with sadly inevitable consequences. Eventually, Videnithen was able to sneak through into fourth, a brilliant move late on on Hingley. The Brit further demoted by Nikita Troitsky on the penultimate lap of the race. But Harrison Scott, it was a seventh victory of the season and this one truly dominant, almost 15 seconds clear of the rest of the field. So another day of celebration for RP Motorsport with Devlin De Francesco finishing second, top rookie ahead of Alex Karkozik. Rookie podium completed by Nikita Troitsky finishing in fifth. So Harrison Scott on the top step of the Fantastic result once again. Obviously to come here to Silverstone to your home race and um, yeah to get pole and then yeah, lead from lights to flag like that is just yeah a great effort all round from the team. Just the car was just remarkable really how, how easy it was to drive. I could put it wherever I liked and um, yeah did the job which was really good. Does it make a difference to win at, at home? And definitely, obviously, this is one you always like to win. There's obviously a, a lot more support here for me this weekend with friends and family coming down to watch. So to win in front of them as well is just, yeah, brilliant. Harrison Scott led away from pole in race two at Silverstone, having to squeeze out Devlin to Francesco as they charge towards Cox the first time. Henley Fittier jumping into an early third place. They're all cleanly through the first couple of turns, but there was some frenetic dicing behind on the first lap. Ben Hingley swamped by multiple cars from the Campos team. Eventually, they all got too close. Cameron Das and Matteo Siorio tangling at Brooklands, eventually resulting in both drivers being eliminated from the race. While the mayor of Ardenite had a wild ride as he tried to overhaul Thiago Vivacqua whilst defending from Petru Florescu. Front of the field, Harrison Scott was pulling away from Devlin De Francesco. It's behind Nikita Troitsky was passed first by Yanni Fitcher and then by Ben Hingley in a very well set up move, which demoted the Russian to fifth position. He was able to hold off Alex Karkozik despite a race long scrap. Late, last lap, Petru Ferescu to the inside of Tarun Reddy, not enough space for two. They tangled. Unfortunately, it was Reddy who retired on the spot. For Harrison Scott, however, an eighth victory of the season. His domination of the championship continues. And he has a complete clean sweep of the Silverstone weekend. Devlin De Francesco, second place and top rookie, ahead of Yanni Fitcher, hard for third. Very happy to um, get the eighth win here at Silverstone. Um, clean sweet weekend, obviously both poles, both race wins and both fastest laps. Just obviously incredible team effort all around and yeah, just really thankful. How tricky was the track today because there was some little rain? Yeah, it was um, a lot more difficult than yesterday. Um, there was high winds, especially through the, the new pit section through turn one. It was a real, real strong crosswind, which was making the car a little unstable. And yeah, a few laps from the end, a few spots of rain on the visor, but no, overall, uh, no, not too bad. And the title is getting closer? Yeah, just need to keep, keep working hard, keep getting the results, and um, yeah, see what happens at the end of it.